Hello, today I am here to show you how to make a macro in OpenOffice. If you have come from my book, Strengthen Your Fiction by Understanding Weasel Words, our macro that we're going to build today is how to highlight a list of words um, so that we can do it in click of a button with a long list of words. If you stumbled upon me for by some other um, way, we, a macro is basically teaching your software to do a series of commands all with one click of a button. So it can come in handy for all kinds of different things. So you can take um, what you learned from here and do what you want um, in other ways too. So the first thing you need to do, if you don't have Word or Scrivener and that's why you're using Open or and you want to be able to do this, um, Open Office is free so you can download it. Um, when you go to Open Office, I'm assuming you are going to do your fiction writing in your text document. So open up a text document. Now you need to paste in um, some weasel words. Now if you are pasting from Word or somewhere that uses smart quotes, you're going to need to ch change the smart quotes like up here for its and there. Um, they cannot be smart quotes because OpenOffice will not find them. So if you happen to have one, just backspace out of it and replace it. Or you can do a search and replace. Um, put in a quote and re replace a quote with an open office quote and it will turn automatically to a straight quote. So that is one thing to be careful of if you are not directly typing into open office. So what you are going to do is if you've, these are um, partial lists from my book, Strengthen Your Fiction by Understanding Weasel Words, because I'm not going to bore you by doing the entire thing here. So the first thing you're going to do um, is choose which list you're going to do. Make sure you have every word that you want to highlight in here before you start recording your macro because if you type in something while you're recording your macro, every time you run the macro you're going to type that word into whatever novel you're writing and you don't want to do that. So make sure you have all your words here um, before you start otherwise you'll have to stop and start again. Come up to tools, go down to macros and record a macro. You can see over here that we are recording everything that you do, keystroke and mouse clicks, will happen in this macro um, after you've set it up. So we want to highlight these words. So we're going to come to Edit, Find and Replace, and we're going to choose Its, Find All. Don't just press Enter because it will only find Find, it won't find All. And make sure you've got a color here and highlight it. Choose Its, and continue the rest of the way until they are all done. So we are checking for homophone um, in this section here. Um, and you cannot um, put it in your macro unless it's actually here. Unlike Word, you can't just put a word that's not in here and it'll still find it. It actually has to happen. Um, actually has to be here to be done. So all the words are done and we press close and we stop recording. And now we're going to call it something. We're not going to call it adverb weasels. And we are going to call this homophone weasels. And homophone. Homophone weasels. Do not put a space, otherwise it won't save. So we press save. Now it's all done. Let's go to our adverb weasels, because you saw that I had one in there. And um, I don't think I did it, showed you earlier, and I may not even done it. On record a weasel, we're going to do um, adverbs. And down here, yeah, I didn't do it, so we're going to have a problem um, before. So if, if you were following me, you're going to have to re erase that last one. And make sure you put whole words only so that we don't have a word with ITS in the middle of it show up. So we do want only partial words here. So for Lee, we're going to find all, and you'll see that it has partial word here. And we're good. And we will match case to keep like the um, the name Lynn from showing up with a capital L, but unfortunately um, open office doesn't um, match suffixes like word does, so you will have some, if there's a word that has ly in the middle of it or ly at the beginning that's not capitalized, it'll show up. You'll just have to ignore them. So let's pick another color and we're done. Stop recording and let's say you had messed up like I did with the homophone weasels, you just click on it and save and it'll let you override it. So you don't have to delete it and then whatever, you can, you can just override it. 
So let's do one that has separate different colors. Um, we're going to go to Tools, Macros, Record a Macro, and we're going to do these in different colors. So this time I'm actually going to make sure it's whole word only. That is not what I wanted to do. Come over here to Edit and Find and Replace. And we are going to do whole word only this time and match case because we want the lowercase and the uppercase he to have different colors. Find all those. Make this like a, a dark blue and small, a lighter blue. And she. So you can change all the different, you can make every single word a different color if you want. And we're done. So we close it, we stop recording. I'm going to call this pronoun. If I can do it. Pronoun cluster weasels. Save that. And um, with this, this has phrases. Um, it's fine. There's nothing, anything different to do. I'm not going to do those actually. Just to keep this short. Now, these are the shallow POV weasels. Um, you can choose not to do whole word only um, and just put in wonder and it would get wonders and wonder and wondered but it'll also get wonderful and wonderfully and that's not what you're looking for so you can choose to do it that way and just know that you might have some random words that you're gonna see highlighted that you'll have to ignore or write out every single one every single iteration that you want to look up in your list make sure you do it before you start recording so we're going to tools macro record Go to find and replace. Make sure we got whole words only this time, unlike me earlier. And find all. And we're going to choose some other color. And then wonders. Oh, because I didn't find all. That's nice that you can see that there's a highlight showing you it had found it. Find all. Good. And the rest of them. Etc. You get the point. So we're going to just finish. And we're done. I'm going to stop recording. We're going to call these shallow POV weasels. And save those. Now, to see if they work, I'm going to go to Control A or you can go to Edit to Select All and unhighlight it all. So, did we do the macros correctly? So let's write wonder again over here and wonderfully we're going to go to tools macros run a macro if this comes up this java thing you can just say okay if you want to actually figure out how to download java so you don't have to see that again you can do that so you will find these in my macros in the standard folder in module one so let's run the adverb weasel and you will see that it found all the ly's. Let's go to another one. Uh, run. Now this is annoying and I'm going to teach you how to get around it, but right now we're just testing to make sure everything's good before we do it. Make sure everything works. And let's do our shallow POV words. There you go. And it didn't pick up wonderfully. Good. We're good. Um, so you can test them all out. Now, once you do this, so let's say this is what I'm actually wanting to write, you just get rid of what you don't want, or maybe you get rid of this and change it out for, I don't know, helpful. It doesn't even matter. It's okay if it goes back to green, because once you're done, you're gonna go through everything and get rid of what you don't want, and maybe just take off this wonderful Meister. It doesn't matter. So you do your editing this way, and then you just control A and get rid of everything. And now you can go back to working as normal. So now that we don't want to drill down every single time, we're going to make ourselves a menu up here for macros. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the macro section again, macros, organize macros, open office basic. Now, what you wanna do is assign these to uh, a toolbar menu thing. So press assign. 
You are going to need to make a new menu thing. So we're going to press menu and we're going to call it macros. Because that's what I want it to say up here. Press OK. Now we have nothing under macros, so we need to add it. So we're going to have to look for it and we're going to have to drill down just like before. But once we get this done, it won't, you won't have to do it again. And then the standards folder, and the module folder, and you have all of them. So we want to add all those under macros. So add each single one. Close. So now under macros, we have these things, and we can press OK. And then there it is. It shows up here. So from now on, we can go macros, adverb weasels, homophones, pronoun clusters, and shallow POV words. And there you have it. So do your, do your work in here, make this one seeming, and then when you are done, you erase it, and you're good to go.